Hey y'all. Not sure what kind of video this will be, but I thought I'd do just a, a little video this morning. I'd already shown y'all this bed is finished. And Hugh has been bringing firewood up here to put on the sidewalk. <laughs> Not sure why. He just he just wants it to be convenient to the front door this year. And uh, you know what? That's fine. It's just it's just all good. I've already shown you several little clips this week with our little mama chicken. And um, we've just kind of came to the conclusion that she's not impacted. She's not really sick. She's just very, very old. And chickens, when they get older, their little, their little hearts can actually stop functioning so well. And one of my concerns with her has been that she's just swollen. And I guess that's, look at her little, little beak. She's a really messy eater. I fed her some yogurt this morning. But uh, there's Pops. Say hi, Pops. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Time to take Christ, y'all. Yeah. And he's helping Aiden work on his Jeep this morning. But uh, anyway, so she's um, she's swollen, but uh, it could very very easily be because her little um, her little heart's not functioning real real strongly these days. Erin told me this morning that she could be as old as seven, and that's that's old for a chicken. But you can see she's struggling to walk a bit. And so I've got her a little spot out here with me where she can be in the shade and she's got her food and water. And I'm just going to keep her up here with me. And the reason for that, instead of putting her back in the back with the other girls, is that any of y'all that know anything about chickens, you know, they can, they can be cruel and they will pick on a, a sick chicken. So I'm just going to keep her up here with me. And, uh, as those of you who um, grew up in this kind of a lifestyle, you'll understand that there's just, um, there's just, it's, it's kind of a respect thing that when an animal reaches the point where they're old to the point that they can't survive comfortably or if they're ill and they can't get better, um, you do the good thing and you you put them down instead of letting them suffer so that's what will happen with her probably within the next couple of days but in the meantime as long as she's not showing any signs of being in pain I'm just gonna keep her comfortable and keep her up here with me and and she and I are going to work in the flower beds so I thought I'd just set up this morning and hang out with you as you hang out with me and her. All right. Right now, let me see if I can stand up. Get down here on the ground, and it's it's a bit of a struggle sometimes stand back up. Um, I'm going to move this this rose. This is one of the roses that uh, Aaron and and Corey had brought back from the arboretum this spring. And uh, since all of this up here is going to be a kitchen garden, I've shown you that I'm moving all the roses down there with the yellow rose of Texas. So let's get this one out of the ground. And it's, it's full of weeds, so it's not going to be a happy camper until it's relocated anyway. Actually, let's go down here and find the hole we're going to put it before we dig him up. I moved one of the roses already and it's looking good. It's looking good. I don't know when Aaron comes over he can decide if he wants to trim it back a little bit. But that's the one I moved earlier. And you can see this flower bed has to be cleaned up pretty soon as well. But uh, I kind of went, well, I don't know. The big tall one up there in the corner behind the rock I'm going to bring it down here also, but 
I guess I will put it about where that um, that water that chicken fountain is at and then I'll put a a cage behind it that'll probably work pretty good so let's go ahead and put this guy right here if I can find a spot to set you where the camera won't turn over there we go <laughs> I ring somebody's bell, didn't I? And this dirt's fairly soft until you run into a rock or something. And since those roses were just planted this spring, it won't be a huge root ball, but there'll be one big enough that we're going to want to give it a good sized hole. And I don't want to put it over too close to the rock. This would all be a bit easier if I wore my big boots, but when I'm outside, I do like to wear my earthing shoes, so I do. You see all the, the mulch on top, and the mulch is good, but I'd like to have some nice dirt down here in the bottom. So, I'm going to go get a bucket of dirt and a bucket of water, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to let y'all come up here and watch Sissy. Let me show you what Nala did to my gloves this week. A goofy one. She's getting a little strange, too, in her older years. I'll have to be sure and move her over into her shade in a minute. But you can see Nala chewed the thumb out of my glove. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water and some dirt.
well, it looked like she just laid right there and <laughs> hung out with you. So, all right. Now, let's go ahead and, and get this guy out of the ground. Dig down the through some grass and and weeds, but that's all right. We'll pull all that out. And you can see this guy's still blooming. It just is not ready for summer to be over yet, apparently. But I think that it will love its new home. Let me see if I can get a hold of it. And let's go get a pair of gloves. What do you think? My gloves that Nala ate the thumb out of. At least that particular glove was the left hand, so that was good of her anyway. Alright, there we go. Uh, just pull her right out of there. There we go. It didn't hurt anything. I know that looked rough. But I didn't hurt its old roots. Looks like it needs some more room for its roots anyway. It's not as developed as they should be for that length of time. So let's see what they do in a new location with more dirt and maybe more sunshine. This spot it will get the evening sun. That spot over there it kind of loses the sun earlier in the day all right I better set you outside the wall that's probably a better spot anyway you may be tilted sorry if that's the case all right put some of this dirt in here Aaron can determine when he comes if um, if they need to be fertilized at all. I really don't know much about roses. The only thing I've ever done with roses is take care of my mother and mother-in-law's knockout roses. And, uh, so, if when it comes to roses, I have no answers. All right, no water. There's my water. Just water this in good. The only thing I do know is that they like a lot of sunlight. So just having sunlight in the morning hours, maybe that wasn't making her very happy. We'll see. And probably she didn't like all those weeds around her either. But we'll take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and put the black plastic around all of these down here as well. And then mulch it good and heavy. But I hope y'all are enjoying the bit cooler weather. I know we are. Aiden is like I am. Fall is his favorite season. So, just almost every day he comes home, he says, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing some color out there. <laughs> and I love it. And he's right, I'm seeing some color. This dirt's pretty tough, so it, it needed to go in a little bit looser medium anyway. So, 
course this isn't where he was growing but we'll give him some looser dirt around his roots just firm him in a little bit You know, it's funny that sometimes when you pull dirt out of a hole, it seems like you can't get enough dirt to refill the hole. And then at other times, there's just way too much dirt to put back in that hole. And I know that old timers had a, had a wives tale about it. I don't remember what it was. Maybe some of y'all do, but so I won't try to retell it. But it's just kind of interesting how different times of the year or different days, different seasons, I don't know what causes it. But you might have way too much dirt and then suddenly not enough dirt. I don't get it. Alright. And I'm going to have Hugh bring me a load of compost to lay over top of all of this as well. So some of the nutrients from the compost should leach down into these roses, roses roots. And then we'll start fertilizing them in the spring. But Aaron can make a decision about uh, trimming them back. I'll let him do that. He's the rose dude. All right. So, that's kind of my day. My day is going to be just hanging out with a, a little elderly, sickly chicken and cleaning out flower beds. It's beautiful out here today. It's not supposed to be over 71 degrees. And so, that will be enjoyable. And I'll let you say goodbye to her. I think that might be appropriate but I don't want to end on a sad note so let me turn the camera around find out where my lenses are at I never know <laughs> I never know where to look on this side of the screen but um yeah, you know, if you're going to have animals, and I know I talked to uh, one precious lady this week, whose son, I think today was the day that they were going to be taking his old golden for his last ride, and uh, he was a Marine, and when he came out of the Marines, this he he got this dog as an eight month old puppy and uh, this puppy was wonderful hint for him it provided what he needed um, gave him the companionship that he needed and we understand that we understand that uh, Montelius or Monty um, the one Aaron called monster was one such dog for Aaron and then I mean he he's had a number of dogs but a couple that that just actually just really spoke to him and of course copper is also that that precious doggy but when you have to make the decision to put one down and we did that right on this porch last year with Mika and it was it was a hard hard time Aaron uh, they had rescued Mika when Aiden and Kayla were little bitty people. So Mika grew up with them. And they grew up with her. And uh, it really hurt Aiden and Aaron's heart. Um, but uh, anyway, to that precious mama and her son, I just send hugs and love today, knowing what you're, you're going to deal with. And... I just wish there were times when we could just gather up as a group and just hug one another and just cry with one another 
and those things are important so anyway when you lose a when you lose a little little pet even if it's if even if it's a chicken it's not always the easy thing but that's that's a life cycle in my estimation if we can give them their best life possible and just um, enjoy them let them enjoy their lives then then we're we're doing the right thing by them she's had a good life she's um, now here at the end of it she's you know struggling a bit but I think she's still even enjoying it somewhat and we'll let her enjoy it until she lets me know she's ready to go all right y'all I love you much I hope your day wherever you're at is as beautiful as this day is here just a very few clouds in the sky beautiful sunshine and as Aiden says a bit of color yay and over there is my boys working on Aiden's Jeep and I'll talk to you later love you much bye bye